Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, I, I, Mr. Mr. Chairman, I rise in support of the McGovern Emmer Amendment, which would uh, simply create a service medal to be awarded to atomic veterans or their surviving family members in honor of their service and sacrifice to our nation. Between 1945 and 1962, about 225,000 members of our armed forces participated in hundreds of nuclear weapons tests. Now known as atomic veterans, these GIs were placed in extremely dangerous areas and were constantly exposed to potentially dangerous levels of radiation in performance of their duties. They were sworn to secrecy, unable to even talk to their doctors about their past exposure to radiation. Thankfully, Presidents Bill Clinton and George H.W. Bush recognized the atomic veterans' valiant service and acted to provide specialized care and compensation for their harrowing duty. In 2007, our allies, Great Britain, New Zealand, and Australia, enacted their versions of this amendment by authorizing a medal to honor their atomic veterans who served with the United States. Regrettably, the Pentagon remained silent on honoring the service of our atomic veterans, arguing that to do so would diminish the service of other military personnel who are tasked with dangerous missions. Uh, Mr. Chairman, this is a, a pitiful excuse. Tragically, more than 75 percent of atomic veterans have already passed away, never having received this recognition. They served honorably, uh, and they kept a code of silence, and most certainly le uh, led to, uh, because of that, most certainly led to many of these veterans passing away prematurely. Past administrations and Congresses have dealt with uh, thorny, the thornier issues of legality and compensation. What remains is recognizing these veterans' duty uh, honor and faithful service to our nation, the, and time is running out. And that's what this amendment seeks to do. So I call upon my House colleagues to support this amendment that I, along with my colleague from Minnesota, Mr. Emmer, have, in, have introduced. Uh, we, owe, we owe it to our veterans to recognize them for their selfless service to our nation. And with that, uh, Mr. Speaker, I'd like to yield uh, two minutes to the gentleman uh, from Minnesota, Mr. Emmer. The gentleman is recognized for two minutes.